In this video, I'm gonna be telling you why double clicking, drag clicking and butterfly clicking are an unfair advantage. I'm gonna be explaining why that is. Later on, I'm gonna address some of the counterpoints that you might have. And at the end, I'm gonna propose a solution. But this might be my most controversial video yet. So watch the whole video before you comment. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so before we start this video, I want to mention a few disclaimers so that you guys in the comments won't be like, oh, this guy is mad because he's bad. No, okay? Listen, I butterfly click since 2019. I can telebridge and also I don't hate people that double click. I just want to inform the community about this issue. Also, I may be releasing similar videos expanding on this topic. So you should subscribe if you want to see them. Another thing that I want to say is that I'm really open to constructive criticism. So please comment because my goal is to have a really informed opinion. And last thing is that I'm not gonna stop double clicking right after this video because at this point if I wasn't double clicking I would get absolutely rolled by others that do and by the way just know that when I say double clicking it doesn't exclude the clicking methods that require a mouse that can double click now let's get into the video so I'm assuming that if you're watching this video you probably know what double clicking is but just in case if you don't know what it is click the card in the top right anyway people use double clicking to get really high CPS and the reason why people want that is because it makes them better at bridging and pvp for bridging you can perform bridging methods like god bridge and tele bridging and for pvp you get better hit registration and your knockback also gets reduced another thing double clicking helps you ladder clutch mlg clutch with water cobwebs and tons of other stuff because you can just butterfly click and it's gonna be easy peasy also double clicking introduces a whole nother skill block clutching and i'm not talking about the one or two block clutches everyone can do that i mean the insanely long block clutches that require you to drag also, there's an entire game mode for drag clicking and it is called MLG Wush. Basically, if you want to double click, you have to have a certain mouse and a number of mice that can do it are on the decline. This is because most gamers don't want their mouses to double click. Because imagine, it would be really annoying if you just wanted to click once and you clicked twice. So the mouse manufacturers implement different firmware to prevent the double clicks from happening. And the reason it is paid to win is that if you don't have a mouse that can double click, you have to shell out money to even purchase participate in any of the double clicking shenanigans. Another thing why double clicking is bad is because modern servers are having a really hard time distinguishing legit players against the people that double click. And with today's clicking methods, you can even get higher CPS than most common auto clickers. Another big point that I want to mention is that double clicking breaks your mouse faster. And I even experienced this first hand. Basically, my old Molo O wireless, which I had used for about a year, is broken and registers are hell of a lot of CPS. CPS because I was drag clicking on it and I never did any of the crazy clicking methods that would get you hundreds of CPS. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how bad a double clicking and drag clicking is for your mouse. And basically this is the reason why most mouse manufacturers don't support this practice. And on top of that there's almost no games that require this insane amount of CPS. This is just Minecraft exclusive. Now this brings to my last point. What is considered to be cheats? Because double clicking essentially is just abusing the inherent flaws of mechanical mouse switches. Just like for example Wembu abused his broken mouse switches to get tons of clicks per second and I got absolutely no repercussions for it. And by the way, no hate to Wembu. I love his content. He's absolutely hilarious. I'm just trying to inform. Remember? Okay, but the real question is should mice for drag clicking be allowed? Because it is stepping over the line of what's a natural skill and what is a hardware augmented skill. Just imagine a mouse that can automatically aim for you. That would be fair. Now let's play devil's advocate and answer some of your questions. If double clicking is an unfair advantage, then a better keyboard, a better computer, and a better location is also an unfair advantage. Yes, everything is an unfair advantage. A better computer, a better location, even Optifine, it is unfair to the people that don't have those things. Now, does this mean that we have to enforce someone with an RTX 3090 to cap their FPS at 15, just so the odds are the same against a player who has a laptop from 15 years ago? No, you cannot enforce that. But cheat clients and macros are also an unfair advantage and you can enforce that you can make servers have good anti-cheats that will ban the cheaters 
double clicking being paid to win is not that big of a deal in my opinion it is a really big deal because there's a lot of kids that want to know how to be good at minecraft but they just don't have the mouse to double click and they cannot do all the cool stuff like telebridging and god bridging and etc and if you don't believe that there's tons of kids that are like this go into a comment section of any drag clicking or guard bridge video and you will find many kids whining about not having a mouse that can double click you don't need high CPS to be good at PvP. I agree with that, but to a certain point, movement and other PvP skills are really important in Minecraft PvP. But the main thing where the higher CPS advantage comes in is starting the combos, because you will take a really small amount of knockback if you click fast. You don't need double clicking to be good at bridging. I also agree on this, but with a big asterisk. You don't need double clicking for bridging as long as you just play bedwars and speed bridge. Or well, maybe sometimes moonwalk. But the point stands. If you want to god bridge consistently, you're going to need a double clicking mouse. I know what you mean, but butterfly clicking and double clicking requires skill. And to that, I say yes. Yes, it does. But this logic can be applied to almost everything. You can see that cheating requires skill, because you need to be good at bypassing the anti-cheats of the servers. So this whole argument comes down to one point. Do you want to sacrifice fairness over skill? And in my opinion, the fairness that this technique takes away from people that literally don't have a double clicking mouse is much greater than the skill it has. So, my solution to this whole problem is first of all, the whole community, the bridging community, the clutching community, the MLG rush, the PvP community, the whole Minecraft community, except I mean survival players. But who cares about them, right? Nah, no, just kidding, just kidding. The whole community's outlook has to change on double clicking. And now, the point that this whole video has been leading up to. Get ready. I think that when a new Minecraft version comes out, you should be able to bind your mouse button functions to your scroll wheel, in essence introducing scroll clicking. Now let me explain, in my opinion this would be perfect alternative to butterfly clicking and drag clicking in terms of bridging and in terms of PvP, I really hope that Mojang introduces a new PvP version where your CPS would not affect your knockback. Now this is a topic on its own and I will probably make a video on this. But yeah, every mouse has a scroll wheel. But not every mouse can drag click. Most mice can scroll pretty fast and amount of rotations that they can do resemble drag clicking really closely. Now there's a few exceptions like the G502 mouse and similar mice like that where you can actually make your scroll wheel spin really really quick. But I think in the newer versions this wouldn't be really that big of an issue as auto clicking is right now because in most cases the solution would be better than an auto clicker. Basically scroll clicking will allow the people that don't have a mouse that can double Scroll click to Godbridge, Tally, and also there's one game where you actually utilize scroll clicking, and it is called Counter Strike. Basically, in most source games, you can bunny hop, and bunny hopping is a technique in those games where you jump exactly where you land. This makes you jump around really, really fast, like a bunny. That's why it's called bunny hopping. What did you expect? But basically, the timing for bunny hopping is really, really precise. So the Counter Strike players bind their scroll wheel to their mouse buttons. If this is allowed in a high competitive game like CSGO, then why shouldn't it be in Minecraft? Scroll clicking could even be a reality today if Mojang adds it to the newer versions of Minecraft even without changing the PvP. Hypixel and other networks could allow scroll clicking in 1.8 using external tools because then it would be by definition be possible in vanilla Minecraft. Most of Minecraft's competitive community is being held down by two flaws. One in Minecraft's code and another in a lot of mechanical mice currently in the market. These two flaws combined form a big issue in Minecraft that makes the game pay to win. This issue is called double clicking. And this is a problem because only individuals who have the mouse that can double click can perform the most competitive and admired stuff in Minecraft like telebridging, long clutching and the list goes on. Scroll clicking would solve this issue because it would allow almost all players to have the bare minimum tools to perform the aforementioned things. Scroll clicking would solve a lot of problems and present a lot of new opportunities, of course if it were to be implemented correctly. Thank you guys for watching this video, subscribe, mention anything I missed in the comments, I read all my comments unless this video maybe blows up, then I'm probably not gonna read all of them, but I will try because I love you guys. Also yes, this is a re-upload, probably a bad idea putting this at the end but yeah i remade this video because it sucked really bad anyway thanks for watching and goodbye